A teacher at a high school in Seattle allegedly told students that identifying as straight is offensive. He scolded male students for being a product of the patriarchy. Jason Rance brought us this story, and Jason's with us now. How is saying you are straight offensive? Well, according to this teacher, it is offensive because, and this is a direct quote, it implies that to not be straight is to be crooked, which could have negative connotations. Now, I'm almost impressed by that because I think that might be legitimately the first time in the history of that term <laughs> that someone pretends it's offensive. Like, this is a very unique way to look at this. I mean, it's obviously absurd. This is a teacher who, a few weeks ago, I did a story about how he failed a, qu uh, a kid on a quiz because the kid said men can't get pregnant. So I think we know where this guy is coming from. Mm -hmm. But the reason why this is so important is there are many educators just like this guy who's in front of your kids every single weekday and is putting all of this in their heads. Mm -hmm. And unless you're aware of it as a parent, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to deprogram all of this progressive propaganda that's getting pushed in front of your kids every single day. And I think that that's dangerous. No, that's a fair point to make. I've got another story, and it's for you, uh, and I think is perhaps even more important. Democrats in Washington state are going after ammunition. I think it's a way to end gun rights. How are they going after ammunition? Just raising the price? Well, it's not just raising the price, although it would put 11 percent sales and use tax on ammunition. But when you read the bill, it reclassifies consumers who purchase ammo. It reclassifies that as a privilege. Now, that is, of course, unconstitutional because Washington's Constitution is actually stronger when it comes to gun rights than the U.S. Constitution. It says our right to bear arms shall not be impaired. So if bullets are a privilege, it would render gun rights completely meaningless because you can't bear arms if you're, miss if you're missing the necessary components of the firearm that allows it to operate. So it's like saying you have a right to vote, but it's a privilege to be given a ballot. It doesn't quite work like that, except, unfortunately, in Washington State, you have Democrat lawmakers who have routinely tried to push the envelope to see what they can get away with. They've already banned what they deem to be high-capacity magazines, which is a magazine that can hold more than 10 rounds. They've already decided to ban what they view as assault weapons, which to them are just scary-looking guns. And so they continue to go down this pathway. They're making it harder for people to earn, uh, the, to earn their right to be able to purchase a weapon. And I think that that's, of course, unconstitutional. But I our courts have so far been deferent. I predict a huge run on ammunition. Get it while you can. Yep. Jason Rance, thanks for joining us. All good stuff. We'll see you again later.